Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, presenting the top stories aired this week on Maine Public Radio. Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. Watch for free on Facebook, YouTube, or mainepublic.org, and on community access television across the state. New episodes and newsletters every Friday. Maine Public is answering audience questions about participating in the upcoming midterm and gubernatorial elections. Ask us anything at mainepublic.org slash your vote or visit the link below for more information. Today is Friday, October 21st. I'm your host, Ari Snyder, and here are the week's top stories. Large employers and college administrators in northern Maine want to attract refugee families to the region to help grow the population and increase the workforce. Northern Maine has been losing population for decades, and many employers say they can't find enough workers to fill open positions. But finding families to move there could be challenging, as many newly arrived people don't want to be so far away from family and friends. The construction industry is also facing a shortage of workers, and some groups in Maine are hoping to get more women into the field. Only about 10% of construction workers in Maine are women, but the State Department of Labor and several industry groups are trying to change that. Part of that effort included a job fair in Bath for high school students, introducing them to construction equipment and career pathways. Maine is also looking to expand apprenticeship programs across the state, from 1,200 participants to 4,000 participants, using a mix of state funding and federal grants. A group that helps survivors of domestic violence in Maine is trying to reach more immigrant communities in the state. The group is called Finding Our Voices, and it provides emotional support and financial assistance to survivors of domestic abuse. The group is now partnering with medical providers and other aid organizations to distribute posters translated into Spanish and Haitian Creole. The posters highlight the phone number for the National Domestic Violence Hotline, which can offer assistance in over, 20, over 200 languages. That phone number is 800-799-7233. And the League of Women Voters, a nonpartisan group that works to protect voting rights, has released a translated guide to voting in the midterm elections. The voting guides include information on who is eligible to vote, how to register, and where to vote. The guides are available in French, Spanish, Portuguese, Somali, Arabic, Khmer, and other languages at lvwme.org slash vote in Maine. And here at Maine Public, we are also answering your questions about voting and the elections. Just go to mainepublic.org slash your vote to submit your question. For Maine Public News Connect, I'm your host, Ari Snyder. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy the program, feel free to like, comment, and share. You can sign up for direct links to the videos in your preferred language through our newsletter and WhatsApp groups. We love to hear from you, so as always, feel free to reach out with any thoughts or story ideas. See you next time. Thank you to our excellent community partners for supporting and contributing to this program. We are happy to collaborate on this project with the monthly multimedia publication Amjambo Africa, our official media partner. Maine Public News Connect has been made possible by individual supporters and foundations from across Maine, as well as the Ku and Patricia Ewan Foundation, Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, Maine Housing, and IDEX. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Ku and Patricia Ewan, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. Wadagia. Junto. Seaport Credit Union, together. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at Hannaford.com. At Maine Housing, home is the most important thing. Home is comfort, home is essential, home is key. Maine Housing is here to help Mainers with everything from first home loans to heating assistance. Visit mainehousing.org to learn more.